Welcome to Business on Joy News today. Now, the IMF says Ghana's program with the fund must be extended and is insisting that the decision should be taken before the end of the year. This follows the finance minister's insistence the program would only be extended if government fails to meet all the targets by close of this year. According to the fund, the proposed program extension has been influenced by setbacks in implementing critical reforms. Dr. Natalia Koliodina is country representative of the IMF. From our technical point of view, we can extend the program by one year, which means that the last test date is going to be in December 2018. And not, December, no, not uh, 2019? Well, currently the last test date is in December 2017. If a program is extended by one year, it means that the last target date and performance criteria would be set for in December 2018. And then the mission will come early 2019 to complete the final review. So possibly December 2018 is a possible option that we are looking at here. Well, this is the option that we have been discussing. So, as I said, it is essentially the decision of a member country. It is the decision of the Ghanaian authorities whether to request program extension. Well, you see, uh, in our program arrangements, we usually set performance criteria one year ahead. So I would say that we need the decision to be made before that. Now, the World Bank is predicting some exciting times for the Ghanaian economy based on projected pickup in commodity prices. The slight decline in crude prices and some significant drop in cocoa prices have raised concerns about the performance of the economy going forward because of the heavy dependence on these commodities. But a uh, country representative to Ghana, that is Henry Kerali, says government should not be worried as the bank's surveillance points to good times for these commodities and we'll have the full interview for you on the marketplace that's at the top of the hour uh, with me later today. Stay tuned.